Hey guys, it's Singvar here. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to make our ticket scanner a little more fancy. So in the last video, which I'll put a link for it in the top right, uh, we went over how to make a ticket scanner that basically opens and closes, which is pretty nice, but it wasn't as smooth as it could be. So today I'll be showing you guys how to make your ticket scanners work like this. Very smooth. Yeah. Alright, let's get right into it. Alright, so the first thing that we can do is we'll be able to use our last ticket scanner from the last video and build off of build off of that. So let's go ahead and just copy this one. And let's just move on over. Paste it. Alright. So the first thing we want to do to change this ticket scanner is remove the doors that we had on here. And if you guys are wondering how I'm able to access off this, like click it while still um, having it all grouped within something, I'm just using a folder for it rather than a group. If you do group it by clicking Control G, then you won't be able to select the individual parts. So I recommend using a folder so you can still keep it all organized, click it here and move everything but you can still edit the individual objects so we're gonna go and delete our old uh, doors and now with those gone we're gonna be using something called motor 6d this is a plugin that I use and it is great for animating certain parts if you just want it to move within a certain direction so um, for this we're gonna be using that plugin and I'll show it over here <coughs> it's called uh, motor creator and it says uh, create motor 6d here you can also create welds with it and uh, other stuff so we're gonna be creating the motor 6d but you need a few steps to prep for it before you can do that so first we can see that we have our closed doors here we still have open door one let's get rid of that okay and then we have all these things so the first thing is uh, we're gonna need a special part called a pivot part now this is the part that the motor will spin along. The best way to explain it honestly is just to show it. So you can go here and click duplicate or control D is the shortcut. So you're going to duplicate the part and then go 0 0.5, comma 0 0.5, comma 0 0.5. There we go. Now we have a little cube there. I'm just going to change it to be not glass. Yes. Okay. So now you want to position it like so, and this will be how the door is going to rotate. So if we go into rotation mode here, rotate this by 90 degrees, and now what the door will do is it'll rotate along this way. So once we have this in here, now we have three parts. We have the main part, which is going to be part zero, part one, which is the part we're animating, and then our pivot part which is going to be this guy over here. One more thing though, let's say you have a more complex door design, right? Let's say you have multiple parts. You can weld those parts together and then still use it. So it'll still work if you have multiple parts. Hint, hint, this can be used for animating flaps, gear, all sorts of stuff with uh, Motor 6D. So. so now what we're going to do is we're going to go here and click Create Motor 6D. So now we're going to be prompted up here and it'll say select the part zero. The part zero is the base part. So it'll be whatever your base part is that holds on to the part that you want to spin. So not the spinning part. So we'll click this because it's not going to spin. Now select the part one. Part one is the part that you want to spin. So we're going to click this one, our actual door. Go and click done. Now here's the pivot point or pivot part. This says it pivots on the front, back, Z axis. We're going to select this and click done. Now you can go and close out of this, or if you want to animate this one, we can too. We'll just animate one first. I'll just fast forward through me animating the second. Okay, so we're going to click close here. Unanchor the part, and let me just do play here so that's faster. There we go. Now, we go into here. Oh, that's not the right one. This one is. Go into motor and max velocity is 0 0.05 and desired angle to negative 1.5 and there we go. 
Now you can make this less or more depending on how much you want it to go. Go negative 1.2, right? And then you go desired angle zero, desired angle negative 1.2, and it opens. So now we know that we can change the angle of the door using desired angle. So this should be pretty easy to script because all we have to do is reference the motor 60 motor and switch the desired angle to whatever we want. Uh, I'm going to quickly speed run through this guy over here, finish this motor up, and I will show you guys how to script it after that. All right, let's get speed running. All right, so it looks like we're done. So now we can try and script it. We can take a look and see our really long and kind of inefficient script here. It worked, but um, this will be smoother and it'll require a lot less code. It's only gonna be two lines each. So we can go and delete all of the boarding gate folder dot stuff for here and here. And up here will be us opening the door. So let me comment that. Opening, just open the door. And then close the door. So now we know that this part will open the door. This part will close the door. So how can we do that? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to go and create a few new variables. So we're, we're going to make two new variables, and those will be uh, referencing our motor parts. So we have motor 1, and we have motor 2. So here we'll make some a variable called local motor part left. So I'll just go motor part L. And to reference that, right now we are in this script, and we have to get to our left motor. So what we're going to do is name this to base left and base right. Now we can go back to here and what we'll do is we will take a look here and see motor part left. We're trying to get our left motor which is here. We're over here. So we're going to go script dot parent so script.parent will get us to sensor. Now we're going to get the parent of sensor, which sensor, if we close this, falls under ticket scanner. So script.parent.ticket scanner, or parent, which is ticket scanner. Now from under ticket scanner, guess what? We can access all of this stuff, or all of this stuff. So what we'll do now is we're going to go ahead and go to base left parent dot base left dot motor now if we just use this variable called motor part left we're going to be able to access the left motor all right now you can do the same for this side okay so now we have motor part left and we have motor part right and we have both their motors under this variable so now all we got to do is if we click the motor we can be reminded that the desired angle is what we changed when we were testing it so we'll go motor which is here dot desired angle equals and set it to whatever we want to set it to so to open the door we're going to set uh, motor part left dot desired angle equals negative let's do 1.2 for this because I think 1.2 looked pretty good okay negative 1.2 now we'll do the same for the other one this might take some trial and error I'm not sure if we set this one to just one because we didn't test this one out 
just 1.2 or negative 1.2. We'll test it out. Motor part right. We'll do the right part this time and go desired angle equals 1.2. Because I just copied it over and I didn't spin it. So there's that. And then we're going to close the door. And all you got to do to close the door is set it back to zero. All right. So that'll set the desired angle to zero again. And this will set it to what we wanted. And we're keeping all of the old script just because it's it works and we don't need to change it. It's checking for if we've uh, touched it, if we've touched it, and one of the names are one of these ones for the tickets, then you can do this. Now, if you want this to only work with a certain class, let's say you only want it to work with economy, remove all those, and it'll only work with economy. If you only want it to work with investors class, or first class, right? If you only want to work with investors, just remove that, or investors and first, you just remove that and keep whichever ones you want it to work. So pretty simple to change that. And this should be the code for that. Now I'm just going to do one more thing. And that is to make sure that we set the velocity in the beginning and the desired angle to zero. In case anything weird happens and somehow it gets messed up. So we'll just go motor part left dot desired. Or, uh, yeah, dot desired angle equals zero do the same for the right one I'm just gonna copy paste it and then we'll also go motor part left dot velocity max velocity equals 0 0.05 because we haven't set that yet I'm gonna do this for the right motor now awesome all right there we go so now we have set all of the we've initialized all of these set them to what we want to in the beginning and then change the motor when we want to open it wait for a few seconds and close it back put it to zero all right so let's go ahead and give it a test we can also delete the pivot parts you don't need them anymore let's go and pick this guy up give it a test okay <laughs> well in this case they open backwards all that means is we've got to switch the numbers around. So we'll go back here. Sometimes it takes a bit of trial and error. We'll go set this to 1.2 and set this to negative 1.2. All I've done is that. I'll zoom in a little bit here. And now, let's pick this up. They're going the right way few seconds and it closes all right pretty simple uh, I'm just gonna make the doors open a little more because I liked how they're opening a little more I'll go 1.4 and this is just a little bit of trial and error sometimes you just got to try it see if it looks good if it doesn't give it another try there we go I like the look of that closes looks much smoother than the other one and yeah all right so if you guys enjoyed Please give it a thumbs up if this was helpful to you. This will be a small series, I guess, uh, where I will show you guys how to add an LED to the ticket scanner. That'll go green and red, depending on whether it's open or closed. And then we might even be able to add sound effects. Might make a tutorial on that, too. So, yeah. Um, might be two different videos or one video, but guys get this video to 30 likes and I'll make that one happen just like I said I'd make this one happen I delivered for you guys so really appreciate your support and you guys watching the videos as always I hope this was helpful leave comments uh, if you got any questions or comments I love reading them so appreciate you guys and I will see you guys in the next one peace <laughs>